I'm on the floor at QuiltCon with Jackie Gearing. Jackie, I stalk. She even knows it, so it really makes it super creepy, right? It's great. Look, it's a great kind of creepy. <laughs> well, Jackie, when she was on TQS, her show changed me as a quilt maker, and I know it profoundly influenced Ricky. Because we, because we learned about modern quilting. Right. And we learned together, right? And also her after set. So if you go watch the show, go all the way to the after set. Her show made me laugh and it made me cry of happiness, of a full heart. You know, it's all about quilting. Right. right. I mean, we love it. Now, you are on the, you're the chairman or something? I am. I am the chairman of the board of the Modern Quilt Guild. So I'm the head of the, you know, how long Queen Bee. I, I, I know. So how long has that been going on? Um, so I've been with the Modern Quilt Guild since the beginning. Oh, wow. Since the beginning. Yep. That's a lot of work, lady. It is a lot of work, but look at this. Gocon, we're here in Pasadena. It's exciting. It's the first time I've been to one, and I just love it. There's such a wonderful vibe here. Now, when you were on, you were doing um, quilts that were like, okay, you showed how to take a log cabin, and they're very geometric, but you're doing different things these days. Let's talk about that. So I am. Um, you know, I'm really inspired by, uh, well, the very first quilt I showed at Gocon was my Bang Your Dead quilt. Right. Um, and that quilt changed the direction of my quilting. And this quilt that we're standing in front of now um, is kind of a, a child of that quilt and how I'm growing and changing this quilt. Well, your quilts are very social oriented. They're they making are. statements. Absolutely. So, Bang, um, I'm sure we can find an image on the internet. Tell us about that quilt. Uh, so the Bang Your Dead quilt is a giant um, gun with blood dripping out of the front. Um, it was made in response to my husband's work in Chicago um, and the violence that the children of Chicago experience on a daily basis. And I'm pretty passionate about anti-violence. Uh, I chose that gun because I knew it would be controversial. Because mm -hmm. we don't talk about issues like that. No. We can't solve the problem. Um, so, you know, some people love that quilt, some people hate it. I don't really care. I made it for a very personal uh, reason, and it's done good work. And you sold that quilt, too. Actually, I just bought that quilt. You bought it back? I did. Well, I'm amazed that that person sold it back uh, for her. You know, she was lovely about it. Uh -huh. It's one of my best pieces of work, and, you know, it's part of my family legacy. Uh, my boys want that quilt. Okay. So it actually hangs on my living room. Okay. So then now what about this? Let's back off a little bit. This is called Aftermath. It is. Um, I actually made this quilt in response to the Boston bombing. Um, I was working in my studio and I came upstairs to have lunch and I turned on the TV and there was the coverage. Uh -huh. And you know how when that coverage happens you just kind of sit there and you can't pull away You're from blue. the TV. Yeah. And so I went for a walk and the image that I last saw on the TV was just trash and a little blood on the sidewalk. And I couldn't get that image out of my head. And that was on a Monday, and I started to quilt that Monday, and I finished it on Friday. Do you feel any sort of emotional relief when you make a quilt like this, when it speaks to an I issue? I do. And Aftermath is about, you know, in the wake of violence, there is Aftermath, both positive and negative. Right. And what I saw on that coverage that was, that hit me the most, people gave their shirts off their backs for people they didn't even know. Mm -hmm. Didn't even know. To change the aftermath of the people who experienced that event. Um, you know, it's little acts of violence. Like right. when I yell at my husband, <laughs> sorry honey, don't make a call. Uh, <laughs> um, but you know, if you say I'm sorry, you're repairing that aftermath. Uh -huh. And so I know this quote looks um, scary for some people, but we need to think about it. You're stopping them with it. We need to think yeah. about the aftermath of those little violent ex episodes, those big violent episodes, and what can we do to make the world a better place? Well, we need to deal with the aftermath. And I appreciate that you are changing. Um, who knows where you'll be five years from now? And I think that that is truly an artist because you're not stuck in the routine of what you do. You're willing to risk. And these are risky quilts. Thank you. It's all about
about pushing the envelope and yep. learning and growing. And I don't want to be the same as I was three years ago. Awesome. So this is my buddy. My, I'm officially saying I am no longer stalking you. <laughs> we can just be friends. That's right. Jackie Gary. Thanks, Alex.